Yo, what's going on guys, Carly Dan here today, bringing you an awesome tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an awesome intro 100% free. So really, really cool. A lot of you guys have been asking me how I made my intro, and I just wanted to bring you guys a way that you can also make some cool intros. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is come to a website called blender.org. Link will be provided in the description below. And what you need to do is go over here, click the latest version, which is currently 2.74. And then once you click that, you can see if you're on Mac, go ahead and click the Mac tab and then go ahead and download your version of it. Or if you're on Windows, go ahead and click 64 or 32-bit. So for example, I'm 64, so I would go ahead and click 64-bit and then that would actually begin to download. Okay guys, so once you go, you've gone ahead and uh, installed that, I've already done it previously. So once that's all done, you're good to go. What you need to do next is actually, uh, this is just a precaution because some of you may not have this done, but a lot of you will probably have this installed already. So next thing you need is WinRAR. Uh, it can either be WinRAR or 7-zip, but Here's WinRAR, as I said, I will leave a link for this down in the description below as well. You just basically choose your language, choose whatever, 64-bit, uh, 32-bit kind of thing. And yeah, go ahead and download that as well. That just basically allows you to open a file, which I'll be showing you guys in just a second. Okay guys, so the next thing we're gonna need to do is actually pick out an intro template that we're going to use. Now, I got a good video here that I'm actually gonna leave linked in the description of this video as well, that you guys can come and check out some of these top 10 ones, but uh, you can still search uh, Blender uh, templates and you can find lots and lots of different ones, but this is the one we're gonna be doing with today I'm just gonna play it for you guys so you can have a quick look at it Okay, there we go. You got, you got a little uh, preview of that there. Pretty nice one. It is number nine, as you can see here, out of the top ten. So let's go ahead and get that. Basically, if you just go to the description, click show more, and you can click this, uh, which will bring you to a media fire download. And then once you go ahead and download that, I'll show you what you're left with. Okay, guys, so once you download that, go ahead and find where it was. It'll probably be in your downloads folder, as you can see right here. And then this is what you need WinRare first. So basically, WinRare allows you to open compressed files. Once you have that done, you'll be left with this uh, folder right here called template. Now, I, what I've done is basically just dragged it onto my desktop as you can see here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this folder. Now, this is the intro I've already rendered out, which I'll show you guys in just a minute. But for right now, we're just gonna have a look at these other ones. So right now, you can see we've got a, a music uh, file, which is actually gonna be what you have to put onto your video to give it that music that you've seen in the intro. Then we've also got an intro template example. So that's basically what we've seen in that video that we just watched, showing you what it will turn out like. And then we've got this really important file, which is a dot blend file. So what we're gonna need to do is double click this okay guys so by double clicking that it'll actually go ahead and open up the blender software that you have installed and you'll be able to have a look at the intro here now so if you use the scroll you can zoom in you can zoom out so whatever you think uh, to get the best kind of look of it so what we need to do now is actually right click on this text and then we go ahead and click tab that will actually allow you to change the text so let's go ahead and get rid of that and we're just going to put qual because um my name is actually a bit too big for um and my full name is actually a bit too big for this intro style, so just keep that in mind if you are looking for an intro, if your name is really long or something like that, mine is quite a few letters, so just keep that in mind. But anyway, uh, so what you need to do is change that text, and then as you can see, there's also another layer of text called name behind that as well. So what we're gonna need to do is go over here to the top right, and you can actually select a layer, and then basically click tab, right click on that, and then click tab again. And you'll actually be able to uh, get rid of that text as well. So let's go ahead and put qual in behind that again. Okay, so we'll be left with something like this. If you zoom out, you can have a look there. If you want to come down to this uh, kind of bar down the, the media kind of icons down here, you can actually click play and it'll just basically show you uh, what it'll actually turn out like, what it will look like while it's going along. So yeah, pretty cool. Just make sure you get it right there. Okay, next thing you need to do, now this is very easy compared to other software and stuff like that. So uh, if you can see over the right here, you got some icons. You need to make sure you have clicked this camera one, which is basically like your render settings. Uh, and then if we scroll down, you can see we've got the resolution. It's gonna be in 1080p. Uh, scroll down a little bit more, you'll actually be able to see the output file. So uh, right now I have it set in that folder, but basically if you just come uh, over here, you can save it to the desktop, you can save wherever you guys want to save it. Uh, so yeah, once you do that, go ahead and click enter and that'll uh, decide where to put it. And then down the bottom here, you just need to make sure you have the right video format. So uh, the best thing you can use is probably AVI RAW. That's the one that I go with anyway. So go ahead and select AVI RAW and then basically come over here to the top left and click render animation. It is as easy as that. I'm gonna just start it here for you guys, but I'm gonna cancel it because I already have it done. It should, depending on your PC speeds, it could take anywhere from maybe half an hour to an hour, maybe even more. As I said, it really depends on your on your PC speeds. Also, it'll be worth it because you'll be left with an awesome intro at the end. So let's go ahead and take a look at our finished product. 
Okay guys, so once you have it done, as I said, I saved it in this folder right here. You can go ahead and open that up, and this is actually going to be your new intro. Now you will notice it does not have sound, so what we need to do is actually get some sound on that. So open whatever video editor you use. Personally, I use Sony Vegas, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up, but if you use Windows, Movie Maker, if you use iMovie, whatever you want, go ahead and open that up, and yeah, I'll go ahead and jump into this. Okay guys, as you can see, I have my uh, Sony Vegas Pro 12 open here, so let's go ahead and grab the intro and we're just gonna place it into Sony Vegas on the video track right here and now okay what we need to do next is actually add the music because obviously if you're gonna have an intro you want that music so back to this folder here the template folder that you downloaded and grab this music now you can actually put in whatever music you want it doesn't have to be the one that came with this but obviously uh, that's that kind of suits it I guess because that was the one included in the template so go ahead and do that mess around with the kind of sound settings and stuff like that and when you think it's right maybe just kind of play through okay that's a bit loud so I'm gonna turn that down quite a bit Go ahead and mess with it however you feel, and then once you've done that, uh, I use the loop region, so just go ahead and render it out however you do. I'm going to go ahead and render this in uh, 1080p, so let's go do that. I'll just show you how to do that quickly. Uh, so I use uh, WMV, fly down here, and then we've got 1080p, 30fps, and then I'll just name it intro. And basically that's it, guys. I'll go ahead and show you guys as soon as this is rendered. Okay guys, so that's gone ahead and rendered out to my desktop here. Let's go ahead and play it. And there you go guys, this will be your brand new intro. Very, very easy tutorial, 100% free, which is absolutely amazing for you guys. Again, if you did enjoy this video, want to give it a thumbs up, that'd be absolutely amazing. Go ahead and make some awesome intros for you guys, and uh, maybe tweet me them on Twitter and I'll see how you get on. Again, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you guys, and yeah, I think I covered everything anyway. So as I said, if you did enjoy this video and want to give it a thumbs up, that'd be so, so amazing, guys. Help support the channel, helps get the video out there. If you want to share it with some of your friends that maybe want to make some intros, definitely go ahead and do that as well. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I've been Colin Darren. Subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this and peace out.